I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Manny Lopez here. You're watching PLS Tips with Manny. And today we are going to do the Power Blog Overview. All right, so I've had a chance to play with this thing for a couple days now. Uh, it's been released now for just about a week. And so let's go ahead and dive right in. So once you've logged into the Power Lead System, to get here, you're just going to hover over Promote Your Business Power Blog, and that's going to take you right here. Um, once you're here, you're going to either create a site, um, my site, tutorials. The tutorials are really good. I've gone through those, and that pretty much gives you a good understanding of how to use this thing. Let me show you what I've actually built so you can actually see firsthand what this thing is capable of. So I've created the Learn With Manny. I've had it since, uh, right now it's been really a, just a basic landing page um, that now I've really created into a full-on WordPress blog using the power blog and let me show you how cool this thing is it does everything i've wanted a site to do and i did it literally in a day guys okay so i have this little thing here just a quick three images this i really like that a scrolling um timer clicker whatever you want to call that thing swipe in um you know kind of a fade in image with some text links into my app uh then goes right into blog post and uh, some testimonials, and a simple opt-in form. And so here, it's a simple two-page site to start off with. I'll be adding more pages as I go along. But uh, it's a blog. It um, goes right into a very simple blog. I can include videos. I can include um, images. I can include text. I can include audio. Uh, this power blog thing is really cool, guys. So um, let me show you what I did. I used the let me actually go and create one for you let's start from scratch very simple stuff here guys you're going to click on create site you're going to select a domain right um should already have a domain let me go back and i'm going to delete one okay so let's go to my sites i have two here i got a blog and i've got this one so let me delete this one Hopefully that didn't mess up the other one. <laughs> I'm learning as I go here, guys. So if I mess something up, um, yeah, you're going to watch it all. <laughs> all right, so let's go back in here. So let's go back in dashboard. So if I go from the beginning, I go into create site. Now keep in mind, you have to use a domain that's in the Power Lead system. So luckily, I actually bought a domain through the Power Lead system. I really wanted to test it out. I usually buy domains through GoDaddy. Um, I've got a good program with them. So you've got to buy a domain there. And then once you've got it, it's got to be a down, you know, drop down selection. So when I click there initially, it just had select domain, which means I didn't have one to choose from. I had to go delete one I had already propagated is what they call it. Um, and uh, so now I've got this available. So it checks it and boom, propagate it. I mean, it's already in the Power Lead system. I don't know what exactly that word means, but it just means it's in the Power Lead system. Then I name it. So I'll just name this one blog. Select a template. Now, this is cool. We've got a lot of different templates here, guys. Uh, 11, I believe, to start off with. And I'm pretty sure they'll be adding more down the road. But the one I used to make this was Divi. Divi. And the reason I like Divi is because it has this enable visual builder. This is really cool because it allows me to edit things while I'm looking at it, right? So watch. I'm going to click on it. And, and it allows me to edit in real time areas right on the site. I don't have to try and find the pages or see where they're at. Let's say I wanted to change this button, right? I'm going to click here from Orphan to CEO because this is a banner. Keep in mind, this right here is a slideshow. This right here would give you kind of the whole background of this, but there's a whole slideshow here, guys. So this is one part of the slideshow from Orphan to CEO where it says from Orphan to CEO. So that's what I'm editing. If I want to edit any of this, this bit stuff here which let me show you how the actual site looks can i just take a, yeah here we go so this is how the site came to me initially right this is how the theme looks it's got that recent work stuff now i deleted some images i was playing around so i broke some stuff <laughs> you'll see why i saw a couple of those things there but i have to replace those um and so this is how it all kind of looked 
and I changed a couple things on this. I got rid of the map on mine. I kept this, changed that around. I kept this, changed that around. I got rid of this. I didn't need the recent work area. Um, kept those, added in that sliding, that little uh, count clicker thingy here. Let me go back. Let me just exit that real quick. So I'll show you mine compared to theirs. All right, let's do it. So you notice here this has a moving background. Now that I've always wanted. I thought it was really cool, um, but trying to actually integrate it, it I was having some issues, so I ended up going with a flat background. Plus, a lot of my traffic is for mobile, and uh, mobile users will not get that background. They get a flat background. But it does look really cool, and it's pretty easy to, to switch it out. I think they fixed the issue that I was having initially, which was uploading videos into the back office. Uh, so I ended up switching just a, a generic um, image that I've had uh, from one of my events I'm speaking at. And then you notice here, instead of a picture, I've got a video. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And then uh, features, I kept that the same, just kind of switched that around a little bit. And I switched the text, and I kept it to right here. So let's scroll down from here. I kept that the same, really. I just switched out the images and the text, very basic stuff. From there, you see this thing here. This was something that was different. It was from a different, um, I don't know what you call it, element, something like that. Uh, and I'll show you where I grabbed that from. And then this here is added as well. So that's an additional thing from a different uh, page that basically I grabbed from. Uh, download Apple and Google. So this is all different stuff. Okay. So let me show you how I did this. So let's go into the dashboard. So I'm on this page. I want to choose that. Oh, let's go back in here. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay, so I create the... So I'm back in here. All right, now I want to use the Divi one because that's the one I used, right? Because it gives me that visual builder. I think the extra one also has a visual builder. I um, haven't checked it, but someone's telling me it does. But I will show you what I did shouldn't take too long let me see where we're at right now we are at seven minutes in so not bad so i'll make this video about 15 minutes i'll show you about 15 minutes worth of stuff here um okay so now that we've got it in so now that it says just select domain you can't choose it no more that means your site has been propagated so we're going to go now to my sites well, you had to go back to dashboard right click dashboard home then go to my sites so this is that new one right so if i visit it it's going to look exactly the same as that Divi thing, right? So this is the exact one. Now, let me exit out of this one. And I'm going to log into this dashboard. You got to click on the dashboard. I don't know. It doesn't log in if you don't click on the dashboard. So if I go back, though, and if I want to use that visual builder, I just go back to my sites. Now that I clicked on, l logged onto that dashboard, I can view this one, visit, and I'll see the visual builder option. See? You won't see that unless you've logged into the dashboard. So you got to click the dashboard button first. You can't just click visit because you'll just see your, your page with no options here at the top. So now this is enables visual builder. Now you can edit page right here as well, which goes right into another easy way to edit stuff. But if you're visual like me, you know, this wasn't really helpful initially. Um, so this is a lot of different stuff. Cool, they've added... I mean, literally every time I come in here, there's new things in here. This is getting good. So that's good. They're changing a lot of this stuff. I'm giving them um, suggestions, and they're like, oh, all right, we'll add that in. So let's go back in here, because I want to show you the visual builder. It's very easy to do this. So enable visual builder. Now, one of the cool things is having that video um, right here on the front end. So if I'm looking at www.learnwithmanny.com. So if I'm, okay, cool, that enables Visual Builder too. If I want to have a video like this, right? I'm gonna click on this part right here. You gotta click on the Our Company one because this is a slideshow, okay? This is like something that could have multiple every couple of seconds. Um, so then what you're going to do, once you've clicked on that, let me give you the step-by-step -step here. So you're going to hover over this. You're going to click on this little bracket here. I don't know what it's called. Maybe a bracket. 
and then you click on this bracket here on the R company. Then just scroll down. You're going to see an option that says video. Slide video. Boom. Right there. That, you just copy and paste your YouTube link, uh, YouTube video. Watch, let me just do it from here. Copy video URL. Slide video. Boom. Now, there'll be a video right there. Very simple stuff, guys. Look how easy that was. Boom. That simple. You want to change this text? Very simple, easy as well. That's the thing, if it's clickable, it keeps going to it. But yeah, I can change it. That simple, easy stuff. Changing images, it's all about these little brackets, guys. These little brackets change the stuff. Image right here, change that. I want to change that to a different image. Let's change it to this little bird for some reason. There you go, different image. Now keep in mind, if you are gonna switch the Im images, make sure they are squares, right? They have to be, not necessarily, they don't have to be, but whatever image size that they are, make sure that they're the same exact size for all these three images, right? So if I'm switching these out, and I upload my own images, right? I go here, upload, and I go to upload files and upload from here. Just make sure these three images you're switching out are the exact same size. That way they'll be the exact same size on the website, right? Then here, recent work. I got rid of that. And here's what I did, okay? So if you want to add in these other cool things like this, uh, this little slider here, boom, like this thing. Right, I got this. If I go to a new, I forget how I did this. I'm wondering here, guys. Give me a second. Let's go in the dashboard. And then I went to pages, and it was pages. Or menu management. Here we go. Yes, here we go. So here's where you can add pages to get cool stuff from. So I go to view all, and I can add all these different pages. So this allows you to see all the different um, different things. Things I think I got it from a uh, what was it called? Case study. Case study. Watch. I'm gonna add this page to menu. Boom. It's here, right? Let me save the menu. Let me go back to this page and watch. I just refresh the page. Let's reload. Keep in mind, if you didn't save it, I think everything I did just did, didn't save. Yes. See, that's a good thing to show you. You got to make sure you press, anytime you make any changes, this purple button here, click it and click save. Because whatever you do, if you don't do it, nothing is going to save. <laughs> so you can do all these changes and that's good because then if you mess something up, you're like, oh man, I messed this all up. So you do it step by step uh, and then save it. And if you don't, just refresh the page. But you notice here now I got to link here says case studies let's go back in here let's say I want some of this from here because this is a whole different layout of a page see this this is pretty cool boom here's this little ticker here now I can get this enable visual builder how many minutes are we at I might have to go longer because this is good training stuff yeah I'm at 13 minutes I'm gonna go to 20 for this okay guys 20 minutes all right so this right here, I want this on the home page, right? I'm going to hover over it, not this part. I don't want the green because that's just going to get that. And I don't want any of this because that's just going to get one at a time. I want the blue one, okay? That's going to give me the whole, I don't know what this is, section. Then you click this little button right here. It says save section to library, okay? Now I'm going to name it. Let's call this number ticker I don't even know what it's called and I'm just gonna make this a global item I don't know what that does but I'm just gonna do that that might be helpful I do it and it works so copy me or don't I don't know <laughs> so let's say I want to get rid of this part because I don't need it I mean you can keep it if you want but if you're making exactly what I did I got rid of it 
it's kind of cool because it allows you to uh, highlight things and link them. And now it's editable. But um, for me, I, I got rid of it. But let me show you what I did do, though. Add a section from library. Oh, not in here. Uh, where is it here? Is it the green? The gray. Purple? Here it is. Add from library. Number ticker. Boom. There it is. Right on the home page now. Now see with this, I gotta get rid of that. Boom. Now we got this little ticker thing. And it's really easy to edit, guys. So if I want to edit it, you just hover over the individual one. You're gonna see one that covers all of it, that's not what you want. Well maybe, let's see. Does it allow you to do full edits? That allows you to change the colors and stuff. I mean everything is very simple, guys. You you hover over it and it gives you, you know, a little question mark on what it is. So if you want to know how to do it, it's very simple stuff. Uh, but to change this, I was going here. See, and I can change it. Corporate rebranding. I can name this um, Manny's Friends 8. <laughs> oh, and see here, it gives me a percent. Okay, I'm going to change that. Click off. Boom. Now it's just 8. So, cool. You can put anything you want in here, guys. Very simple stuff. Blog. Uh, again, super easy. Everything is so interchangeable. Click it. Grid, post number three, design. You can change the color schemes. I know it's a little very confusing, but well, you got to play around with it. It's the only way to do it, guys. You have to learn very simple stuff, though. But uh, blog post, you know, very, um, very simple if you want to go into these things. Um, edit pages. Oops. So the cool thing is that... Um, you can make some changes and you forget sometimes it'll remind you hey you have some changes you want to discard an exit or save them da, 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 da. all right so there's all kinds of things that you can do with this I don't want to bore you guys with too much of it but let's go back into the blog so you can see let's go back into changing that I mean, you could seriously, like, look at mine, change it, like, oh, I want a video. Okay, then put your own YouTube video, right? And then just copy this. Edit. Edit. Slide video. Paste. Save. Save. And there is your video. So simple, guys. Want to change our company without having to click on it from there? Change it from here. Learn more. I mean, look how easy this is, guys. Where does the button go? Boom, it can go to any, anything. Could be another page inside of your website. It could be a, um, a sales page through Power Lead System, whatever it may be. Uh, the background image right here. This is the image that's going to show on mobile devices, okay? Keep in mind, um, you're not going to have a viewable video like this on mobile devices. It's going to give you a static image. So you have a background video and you have a background, um, uh, what do you call it? Background video and background image. All right, so background video MP4 right here. Upload. So if you want to switch that out, click upload. Very simple, guys. Select files. Easy stuff. Easy peasy. Um, and then you just assign the width and height. Very simple. Pause video. I mean, it's really easy, guys. Just watch through that stuff. And you want to change what this says. Just keep scrolling. You get a little paragraph change. Easy stuff, guys. And then save when you're done. And then just save it again. Always have to have this, this save right here. This button save. That is the main save. Okay, That saves it and publish it to the site. So this is how it looks, and then you can switch that out. Uh, let's see, to add in this one, I think that was on a sales page one. Let me see if it's on case study. Because again, you can just grab any elements from any page and bring it over. There it is. See, this was the image before. And so what I did is I just switched out this image. 
switched out the text here. I kept these icons here and just switch it out. Enable Visual Builder. Again, if I want to do this, the same thing, guys. Save the element. Let's see, app slide in. Save to library. Go to home. Enable visual builder. So here, I'm going to add a section. Make sure, okay, so when you add a section, this blue button, you're going to see regular specialty and full width. Just click here, add from library. Number ticker, app slide in. How crazy that is, guys. And you want to switch out this picture? What image you want to use? Upload your own image. What well, if you want to do is, the good thing is, uh, is, what I do is I actually download this image and figure out what the dimensions are, and then make sure the image I upload and replace is the exact same dimensions. This way, everything exactly the same. You don't lose any of the, um, the structure of the, of the site. Simple stuff, guys. So... We are at 20 minutes. All right, so that is enough for today. I'm going to do a part two next week where I'm going to show you literally like easy stuff on how to, you know, more stuff that I'm going to learn on how to do it and how to update these things. I'm going to ask you guys for some uh, Q&A. So give me some questions you want to know or give me some things you want to know on how to do. And maybe I'll put it in next week's video. So see you guys on the next one. Always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it.